Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to unlock the NAND memory on your HTC Evo 4G. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for our How to Unlock NAND on the HTC Evo 4G procedure. Okay, before you begin, you must do our How to Root the HTC Evo 4G procedure. Uh, there's a link right there if you haven't. Uh, then you can come back to this to unlock NAND. Uh, you would unlock NAND just to load certain ROMs. For example, Cyanogen's ROM requires your NAND to be unlocked so that this way we can write to the system partitions, etc. Um, so if you plan to load one of those ROMs, then you'd have to do this procedure. Otherwise, you can probably skip it. Once you're ready, then we can begin. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to set up ADB. So click on the link there to how to set up ADB procedure. Once you can see your device's serial number at the end of the procedure, then you can come back here to continue. Okay, now we're going to perform an Android backup. So we're going to turn off the phone. And we're going to turn back on by holding down volume down and power at the same time. So we get HBoot. It's going to search for a file and we'll find. Okay, once it does that, we can push down on the uh, volume and then power to select recovery. Wait for it to boot into recovery mode. Okay, once it does, we're going to scroll down to Nandroid. Then we're going to select backup and wait for it to finish backing up. Okay, once it says backup complete, we can select reboot system now by pushing the power button and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, next we're going to download those four files and save them to our computer. Okay, next we're going to plug in the phone via USB. And then we're going to select disk drive. Done. So this way we can transfer files to it. Okay, now we're going to unzip the mpd-eng. So extract all. Extract. It should pop up as a folder. We're going to do the same thing with the flash image. Now we have two folders of the same name. Okay, first we're going to open up the flash image. There should be a file inside called flash image. We're going to grab that and copy it over to our phone's SD card. Make sure to not put it inside any folders, just on the SD card itself, so it's a removable disk and then the file. Then we're going to go back here. We're going to open up MPD ENG. The file inside there, we're going to grab, do the same thing. Copy it to the SD card. Again, not inside any folders. It needs to be on the SD card itself, just like that. Okay, next we're going to take the recovery2.img file, and we're going to drag that over just like we did the flash image and the MTD EMG. Then we're going to take the PC36IMG.zip file. We're not going to extract this one. We're just going to take it over as a zip file and place it on the root of the SD again. And again, these are all on the root of the SD. Removal disk, and then there are then they're right there. They're not inside any folders, etc. Okay, once all the files are done transferring, we're gonna go on the phone and we're gonna pull down this. Change it from disk drive to charge only again. This will unmount the SD card. Then we're gonna go menu, settings, applications, development. We're gonna make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Okay, now with the phone still plugged in, we're going to open the command prompt on our computer by going to start, typing in CMD, hitting enter. Okay, now with the command prompt's over, we're going to begin typing in what we have uh, listed on the site. You don't really need to read it here. It's written on the site. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, when you type SU here, super user request might pop up on the phone. Click remember, make sure it's checked, and then hit allow. And you should get the little number symbol. And then we can continue.
and once you get past that step, we can continue. Next step is going to be to turn off the phone. Turn it back on by holding down volume down and power. Should look for the PC36 IMG on its own. You'll see a little blue status bar up in the top right corner. Okay, eventually that blue bar will fill all the way up and they'll say, Do you want to start the update? Volume up is yes. So we're going to push volume up. And let it install the update. Okay, once it's done, it's going to ask if you want to reboot the device. Volume up means yes, so we're going to do that. And wait for it to reboot. Okay, and eventually the phone should reboot back to the home screen. Make sure it is still plugged in, and we can continue. Okay, now we're going to be typing back in the command prompt again. Um, again, type what you see written on the site. And we'll do that now. Okay, and then reboot, recovery, enter. And now we're waiting for the phone to reboot. Okay, once it boots into recovery, we're going to go down to wipe, then wipe data factory reset, power to confirm, wait for it to finish, then wipe Dalvik cache, power to confirm, wait for that to finish. And return. Okay, once you've wiped the data, you can hit reboot system now. And the phone should reboot to its regular home screen. And uh, you're all set. From here, you can go on to our How to Load a Custom ROM procedure and flash any of the Evo ROMs you want. Enjoy.